Dr. Don, Tanya rather, Singleton, joining us live this morning with some great tips. Good morning to you. Good morning, Melissa. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here this morning to talk to you about my five tips for picking a good walking shoe. Okay, so what, I, what would you recommend is the biggest tip, or what should you be looking for in a walking shoe? So what people are looking for, you know, there's not just one shoe that's going to fit right for everyone, but if you have more of a flat foot, um, you're going to want to pick a shoe that's more stiff and supportive. If you have a bit of a more high arch, you're going to need a little bit of more shock absorption in your shoe. And do you recommend actually going to a place to get, I know like feet, fleet feet, for example, they'll look at your walk, they'll look at your stride to pinpoint the right shoe that might be right for you? Absolutely. You know, if you go to one of those um, types of shoe stores, you're definitely going to have more knowledgeable staff who can assist you. Uh, but you definitely don't need to spend a lot of money to find a good walking shoe. Um, you really just need to know what's good for your foot, what's comfortable. Um, you know, another good tip is to make sure that you always take the liner out of the shoe that comes with it. So this is actually really flimsy, not supportive at all. Um, but you want to actually replace that with something more stiff and supportive, like this over-the-counter orthotic here or this one here. So you take that liner out and get something stiff and put that in its place. And that offers a lot more support than just the shoe alone with the liner. Let's talk about injuries. What could happen if you're walking in the wrong pair of shoes? Absolutely. Prevention is key. Um, you know, wearing a good walking shoe will prevent a lot of overuse injuries. So tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, stress fractures. Um, a good walking shoe can also help prevent painful calluses and blisters. And what do you guys have a special walking group? Tell me a little bit about what you could do and how our viewers can take part in that. Absolutely. Thanks so much for asking. So uh, over the past four years in the greater Sacramento area, um, over 10,000 people in our community have actually signed up for our, the Kaiser Permanente Walking Club. So the next one is actually starting uh, this Wednesday in the South Sacramento area. You can meet up with one of our physicians at 8.30 in the morning um, in the Meadowview area. It's at the Sam and Bonnie Pinnell uh, Community Center uh, for a two-mile walk with a physician. And uh, you can walk with them and ask them questions about your health. Uh, we're very excited about it and hope to see everybody there. One last question. What are the health benefits of just getting out and walking? It seems so simple, but 30 minutes really can make a difference for your health. Is that right? Absolutely. We do recommend that people uh, participate in at least 30 minutes of activity every single day. And walking is a great way to get those 30 minutes in for your overall health and well-being. It's very important. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Tanya Singleton. Dr. Tanya, thank you so much for joining us today. Some great tips. I'm going to have to check my inserts when I get home. Thank you. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Of I'll see course. you guys on Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. We'll link everything on the website as well if you're interested in a